Hey guys, welcome back to the Enlightened Logger channel. Uh, today we got kind of a special day. Uh, today is a Friday, so it's one of my non-production days. So I get to focus on doing some higher level stuff and uh, some other projects that I've got going on. And behind me here is a Schneider Tree Care truck, which I'm gonna give you a better look at here. This is Mountain Ash, which is the truck I'm going to be driving as my um, you know, truck, uh, my pickup truck, uh, that I'm going to be using for wood pickups and log deliveries, etc. So as you could see by looking up there, I've got a full load on. Show you a better picture of that here pretty quick. And you can have a, an idea as to what my day looks like. Grab up here. Climb up. Loaded this last night. And we're taking this to the mill. We're gonna head down to John's uh, Sycamore Saw Mill. So I'm gonna do a quick pre-trip here on the truck, make sure everything's good to go for the day. And then uh, we're gonna deliver that load and then I'm gonna come back here and finish up my logs uh, going to Buddy's house. We've got some projects we're working on together there. Uh, we've got some milling footage we'll be showing you here pretty quick. But this is going to be probably better than a load, but as you can see, there's a bunch of small stems in there that are just going to get basically tossed to the side. Uh, nothing I'm really going to be, I'm not going to lose any sleep over, not going to worry about too much. Just going to stay focused on the larger stems and the stuff that will fit on the load. Take the truck back and then run some more errands today. So I'm going to do my pre-trip and we'll come back to you when we get to John's. All right, guys. So we did the pre-trip, just drove down the road here a little bit to the Sycamore Sawmill. We're in his yard here. This is the extra yard, uh, spillover yard if you want to call it. He's got quite an assortment of logs here. He's got everything from oak to some nice pine. Uh, see some um, tulip poplar. Uh, it looks like there's uh, some, maybe some ash. Uh, I also see what appears to be some walnut stacked up here. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to go meet up with John here and take a quick tour of the mill and see where he wants this stuff taken off. Walk over the bridge here. You can kind of hear traffic going by. It's a pretty busy road, pretty busy time as well. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning still. I don't know, right around eight o'clock or so. You got a lot of, a lot of people coming and going to work. But he put in this really cool bridge so he can get back and forth with small equipment and uh, like a side by side and whatever else. And it looks nice. You did a heck of a nice job. We'll pick you back up here in just a minute. Show you this little stream here pretty stuff nice bridge there see a lot of that down here still a lot of like telephone poles and timbers still holding up bridges it's nice to see there and get these logs offloaded off my knuckle boom here Kudzu that went out, came along for the ride. Threw in a towel. Be able to dry this off, and of course I forgot it as I climb up here. my 
put my outriggers down here. Chuck this guy in here. him out. better bite.
get that pine out of there first. Give me a little bit more working room. Loaded. I'm gonna get down there and show you close up the size of those tulip poplar and you can see why I was going so slow because they are heavy 
They're about, uh, I think I measured them to be 13 or 14 feet in length. There we go, I'll turn that PTO off so it's not quite so loud. Take a look at this. This is my hand, obviously. Look at the size of this thing. That's a lot of weight right there. Even though it's, you know, it's fairly dry, but it's, you know, 24 inches or so in diameter or better, 26. And then the, uh, you know, 13 or 14 in length. So it's a pretty good load. I'm gonna head back to the house, uh, load up and uh, clean out some more. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.